Hey guys, how are you all doing? Bionicle Source here, and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the new 2017 Safari Limited Diplodocus. You guys, I am so sorry, you are going to have to deal with the sides of the light box in this video because this figure, while it is not the biggest figure in my collection by any means, it is still fairly large and specifically in length, it is just too big to get good full body shots of in the light box. As you can see, the tail of the figure is actually still being cut off even at this much uh, of a wide angle. So the first thing about this figure that really jumps out at me is of course the fact that it is turquoise. This is a fairly monocolor, fairly bright Diplodocus. Safari Limited really pulled it off. I don't know how they did it because so often bright colors or simple bright paint jobs can be a real downfall of many figures. Many times in the past I have reviewed figures specifically by Collecta a lot of the time where the sculpting is great but the paint job is just so bold that it kind of detracts from it. The Collecta Feathered T-Rex is a pretty good example of this as it had a sort of pine turquoise green and a bright red, neither of which really looked all that good. But Safari, they have a bright red and bright orange T-Rex, they have this turquoise Diplodocus, they have the Jigazebrasaurus with the, the cream and brown stripes, and they pull all of those color schemes off so well, and that's just really impressing me. One possible negative about the figure is the lack of skin texturing. It's a little bit unusual to see a Safari Limited figure without individually sculpted scales, but Diplodocus this was an animal that could have reached lengths over 80 feet. And so, at this small of a scale, you would really not expect to see every single scale and scoot and bump on the skin. So in general, this more smooth, more simplistic texturing is probably the better choice for detail on this figure when it comes down to it. This figure is just very pleasing. All of the proportions are just looking great. The pose is simple, but very fluid, very nice. And in general, I mean, just nothing is too thin or too bulky, nothing looks off. Just the overall shape and silhouette of the figure is very just iconic Diplodocus. As you can see, the head sculpt is not the best looking thing in the world, but the paint job specifically is a really nice improvement on the 2016 Safari Limited Shunasaurus, the uh, last sauropod they released before this one. That figure had just such a small head and boy did it look derpy. The teeth and the eyes were all just painted pretty funky, which you can't really blame them for because of the size of that figure and the fact that Safari Limited figures are hand painted, but they have certainly done a better job here. And while the head is a little bit bigger, it is still pretty small as you can see just about the length of the width of my thumb. Diplodocus was a big animal. This is a fairly big figure, so let's get in some other figures to get an idea of just how big it really is. Here we have it beside the Safari Limited Utyrannus. Here we have it beside the Papo Allosaurus. And finally, let's bring in the 2008 Carnegie Collection Diplodocus. That is a substantially larger figure. It's not fitting in the frame, it's not really fitting in the light box. Both the head and the tip of the tail are touching the side walls of the light box. Yeah, it's it's a taller figure, it's longer, it weighs more. This is just awesome to see. Two huge Diplodocus figures, two huge, wonderful, accurate sauropod figures. Obviously the new one is a bit more accurate. It is a little bit thicker bodied, it has the spines, and Honestly, I prefer the colors on the new one. So in conclusion, I give this figure an A+. It is accurate, it is gorgeous, the colors are just vivid and unique. This is one of the best sauropod figures in my collection, one of the best sauropod figures on the market right now, and certainly the best iteration of Diplodocus of all time in toy form. Safari has knocked yet another figure out of the park, and you know what's incredible? We have many more still to go. This is the last figure of the new 2017 Safari figures that I have so far, but there are still more than half of them that I haven't even got yet, and I will be getting them soon. So you can look forward to even more reviews of more amazing figures and models from Safari Limited's 2017 lineup. Bionicle Saurus, signing out.